Hi, we're in Islington today and there is a football tournament going on. I'm joined today by Mike Bailey, who is campaign manager for Non-League Day, a campaign that's been going on for the past three years, I believe. Um, so, Mike, can you tell me, what is the purpose of the tournament today? Um, well, first and foremost, um, we are a group of friends who play throughout leagues and tournaments in London. Um, it's almost my birthday weekend, so I thought I'd get a, a little get-together um, this uh, this weekend and uh, first have a, a good game of football but secondly it's also um, uh, a good chance to to promote long league day to a group of people who otherwise uh, may not know what long league day is so we've got a few flyers we're handing out we've got a, a very nice flag here as well uh, we've also got some kits which have been very kindly sponsored um, to wear on the day so that's a good bit of extra uh, promotion for it um, so it already ties in nicely and we've also got our, our, our camera guys down here doing a little promo video which we hope will be a good audio visual experience for people looking at the website that, sound, that sounds really good, Mike. Um, so, are there any special events planned for non-league day this year? We've got a couple. Um, we've got a couple of ground hops. Uh, ground hop basically means that uh, a set series of games are staggered over the day, so it might be a 12 o'clock kickoff at 3 o'clock or 7.30. And that means that a number of fans, uh, including fans from League One and League Two clubs, can actually get to see games that ordinarily they wouldn't see. Um, we're also doing a lot of work with uh, anti-racism groups, such as Kick Racism Out, and we're hoping to have a, a special Racism Awareness Day. Um, we've had a number of clubs write to us organising five-a-side football tournaments for fans of other clubs. And um, we've got a number of clubs offering um, discounts on the day, community days. Um, one club's having a sort of a, a bouncy cast and getting the armed forces down. So it's really getting the spirit of non-league football, but also engaging the local community. Right, and uh, just remind me, what day is non-league day this year? Non-league day this year is on Saturday the 13th of October. And we'd obviously encourage as many people uh, who haven't got a game to go to for whatever reason to get down and and watch their local team. OK, so if I could uh, just bring you by asking, uh, on a normal day, who would be your, the football team that you, you support? Uh, I'm a Newcastle supporter. You're a Newcastle yeah. United supporter, OK. And, and do you get to see them play very often? Uh, I haven't done for a while since living in London, um, but when I was up in Newcastle, yeah, I used to go and see them. Um, home games like uh, during the during the league were hard to get to, but but Champions League games always got to them because uh, fantastic. Fan they haven't been there for a while. Fantastic. Um, obviously, one of the reasons we're here today is is, is to promote non-league day. Um, if I were to say to you non-league football, what honestly are the first things that tend to come to mind? Um, it's sort of you know. Going, going to a small pitch, standing around, like, you know, you get right up to the front, you're, everyone's shouting at the game, you know, it seems like a good atmosphere. Uh, you're kind of in amongst the in amongst the game, so, you know, there's a good atmosphere there. Um, personally, I've never, like, been to that many, uh, other than when I've got friends playing. Mm -hmm. um, but then I love it, you know, I love going along because you've got that personal involvement, so it's good fun. Sure, fantastic. And as a, as a Newcastle United fan, um, obviously on non-league day, the Premier League and Championship clubs don't play. Um, would you be tempted to, to pop along and sample um, what your local non-league club has to offer? Yeah, I think I would, actually. I mean, it depends, you know, what else I'm doing, obviously. You know, um, weekends feel a bit short sometimes, but, you know, it's just about... If I knew that they were on and they were close and, I, you know, I knew who the local team was, then, yeah, I think I'd enjoy it because, you know, it's part of getting into the community, isn't it? And sort of, um, you know, getting to know a, a place, especially down here. I've only been down in London three months. So, you know, my local team happens to be Arsenal, which aren't, aren't exactly that small a team. But if I knew of a really small one nearby that, that we're playing, then, then yeah, I probably would go along because, you know, meet people and stuff. Well, it's funny you say that because on our website, we actually have a uh, postcode finder. So you pop your postcode in, you click search, and it actually lists the, the nearest five, uh, five clubs to you. So uh, I'm fairly convinced that if you were interested, there'd be a number of uh, very enjoyable options on the day. Yeah, I'll check that out, actually. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds cool. cool.